Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is find minimum in rotated sorted array. So suppose there is an array of length n and it is sorted in ascending order is rotated between 1 and n times. So for example, if we have the array from 0 to 7 and if it has been rotated 4 times, 0 which was which has to be initially at the 0th index position will be rotated 4 times 1, 2, 3. 3 and 4. So 0 is at the 4th index position and if you rotate it 7 times you will get back the initial array because the length of the array is 7. So notice that when you have an array for starting from a of 0 to a of n minus 1 and you rotate it one time then this a of n minus 1 will be at the beginning of the array and rest of the elements will be pushed one step to the right and if you put so suppose if this array is initially sorted the last element is the greatest element inside the array and if it is sorted one time this largest element will come to the beginning of the array hence it is no more sorted so we are given a sorted array nums consisting of unique elements and we have to return the minimum element inside the array and we have to write an algorithm which runs with big O of log n time which is the time complexity of binary search. So it is clear that we have to implement the search mechanism using binary search. You can easily find this using O of n time using linear search. We linearly search from left to right for the smallest element and once you find it you return as the output. And inside binary search I already created a video, I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below. So inside binary search, you find the mid element inside the nums array and you find the left part and right part depending on the target element. So this is the rotated array. So initially if the array is sorted in ascending order, it should be in this position. One has been moved three times and it is at the third index position. So if you rotate the input array three times, you will get the rotated sorted array in this position. Here you can see that so this is the main part the largest element before sort before rotating the array is at the last index position is at the length minus one index position and once you rotate it it will move to the beginning of the array which makes the array rotated and which is no more sorted. So here in this you can see phi is the largest element and the smallest element will be the next element to it. So one is the output for this question which is at the index position 3. So implement binary search where left will be pointing at the beginning of the array and right will be pointing at the end of the array. So first we have to check if array is rotated or not. We pick the first element inside the array nums of 0 and this should be greater than the last element inside the array. So if this is passing then the array is rotated. If this is not passing the array is not rotated and it is in a sorted order like this and our output will be in the beginning of the array always. So if this is false, we have to return nums of 0. And now let's perform binary search. So this will happen until left is less than right. And inside we have to find the mid element which can be found out by right minus left by 2. So this way we'll avoid the overflow condition. So right minus left, right is length, phi minus 1, 4 minus 0 by 2, 4 by 2 is 2. So mid is here. So if nums of mid, so if phi is greater than nums of mid plus 1. I said, like I said, if that is the largest element, it will be to the next element. So if this is greater than, so nums of mid is greater, this condition is passing. So this will be returned as the output. And in the else if part, if nums of mid is less than nums of mid plus 1. So if 1 was here and 5 was here, if nums of mid is less than nums of mid plus 1, I'll return nums of mid. But here in this case, this condi if condition is passing, so I return nums of mid plus 1. Nums of mid plus 1 is this element. So I return 1 as the output. If none of these conditions are passing, we have to move the pointers. If nums of mid is greater than nums of left, then we'll search in the left part of the array nums. Then we'll search in the left part of mid. So we have to move right to mid minus 1. Else if this condition is not true, we have to search in the right part of the array. So we move, so we move left to mid plus 1. So while left is always less than right, all these steps will happen. Once left pointer and right pointer are equal or cross each other, we'll end our iteration. And if we haven't returned anything in these three scenarios, we will return nums of 0 as the output, which means the minimum element will be present in the beginning of the array. Now let's take a look at the code. So this is the input given to us. I declared the two pointers left and right. Left will be pointing at the beginning 
and right will be pointing at the end and I'm checking if the first element is less than the last element here 3 is this condition is failing so this won't be satisfied original array was like this and if left was here and if right was here we check if 1 is less than 1 is less than 5 yes so we return 1 as the output because it is already sorted in ascending order and it will be at the 0th index and now we do binary search so if left is less than right we calculate the mid we check if there is a deviation from mid and mid plus 1 if 5 is greater than 1 is the first check yes so directly return mid plus 1 index element as the output else if nums of mid is less than nums of mid minus 1 so this is mid minus 1 in the first iteration so nums of mid is equal to 5 so nums of mid is equal to 5 is less than mid minus 1 is 4 so this condition is failing this condition is passing so this will directly return the output else move right pointer to mid minus 1 if nums of mid is less than nums of left else we move the left pointer one step to the right so make left equal to mid plus 1 and finally outside the while loop if none of the return statements are returning something we return nums of 0 as the output but in this case this will return the output as 1 which is the expected output here so I've taken the same method which I've shown you on lead code and I've written the main function. This is the input array I've taken as example 2. Now let's debug the code how the binary search is happening. So first I'm creating the two pointers left and right. Left is pointing at 0 and right is pointing at 6. So left is at the beginning and right is at the end. Now we are checking if nums of 0 is less than nums of length minus 1. 4 is less than 2. This is false. So this will be skipped. Now we are at the, now we are beginning the binary search. Left is 0, right is 6. It will enter. Mid is equal to 3. Nums of mid is 3. Nums of 3 is 0, 1, 2, 3, 7. We check if 7 is greater than mid plus 1. Mid plus 1 is 0. Check if 7 is greater than 0. Yes. So return nums of mid plus 1. Mid plus 1 is 0. So 0 will be returned as the output. So min is 0. So we are returning 0. So the time complexity of this approach is O of log n and the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.